My message to the fellow South Sudanese who are in the diaspora, I just tell them to come back to South Sudan because this is a land of opportunity. This is a land where we can do a lot entrepreneurship um, in the government. In every sector within the Republic of South Sudan, mm -hmm. there is a big opportunity. I want to do something for you. Mm -hmm. Do you need more computers? That would be so <laughs> amazing. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I'm going to do this that for you. That would be so amazing. Uh, Charlie, people are mad for what the story. Charlie, the man travel, you know, through 10 different African countries without a passport and a visa. Charlie, it'll be easy. Charlie, you see how black man they suffer for your own country or your own continent. Excuse me to say, your own continent. Self. See how man they tire, you know. Let alone, you know, black man or Africans with them, they, you know, European and American or, you know, Asian countries. Imagine, you know. But man, for me, we just keep to the story. So basically, this South Sudanese man, you know, Joseph Lomoro, you know, left his country, South Sudan, because of crisis. You know? Basically, war. Yeah? Because we you know, see South Sudan, you know, that territory has been unstable for some time now. But things are getting better and things are getting looking good. That's why Wodemaya can go there and come out with such, you know, inspirational stories. So the man traveled 10 African countries without visa, you know, born and raised in South Sudan. But he had to leave because of hardship, because of crisis, you know. And because he don't get visa or you don't get passport and any visas, <laughs> He had to travel by road. Mr. Hagotoxi traveled by back roads. Among four. Because actually, you don't get a passport and visa. Where road you go travel on? Back road. You know? And the only thing we say, Charlie, we are grateful that his story ended happily. A lot of people go through this and your stories have sad endings. You know? Look how them pack up black man for Libya. You know, black man don't know how to swim, but it won't cross, you know, the sea from Libya to Italy. Come on, for it not be easy, you all oh, sick of Charlie. Hardship, crisis. You know, poverty. A man for me to continue the story. So basically, the man was traveling illegally. Illegally, yo. For how many years? You know? Traveled on the buses and the trucks, he said, you know, from Kenya. He said 10 countries, so but I just heard him mention about what, four. Kenya, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and he ended up in South Africa where, you know, through the help of certain people, he talks to the pastors with him, help him, and through that, he was able to settle down over there, you know, educated himself, yeah, and then one day he just for look, let me go back home. Let me go back home because it's a missing family. You know, let me go back home because that, you know, that inner calling. I want to do something for myself and my country. But still there, ringing bells in his head. Manful. If you're poor, the righteous message, I beg you. Forget everything, the truth must be told. You know? If you sit down the way somebody make you can't give you something amount for you, sit down there forever and rot away. You can only achieve, you know, by working hard. 
by good planning, you know. Following this planning or this plan step by step, little steps like I always talk, you know. Small, small. Rome was not built in a day, a mouthful. You know? So, according to the story, this guy says he went back home, you know, and well, he started, he didn't start something straight away, but you know, he looked at the situation and you know, things were still bad because he got this training in IT, you know, and by the way, a lot of people that train in IT, they find it very hard to find work. So, I advise you if you train in IT or something connected to information technology, you better start thinking of making a way out for yourself. Start creating your own job. It's a skill. You could feel create your own job out of that. You know, even if you collect little, little, little children or small, small children, they do them classes, they teach them computing, they collect small money. If it's something, you must start from somewhere. A mouthful. The truth must be told. Vodemaya does it again. Beautiful story, a mouthful. Yeah, people, so basically, this guy. You know, Joseph Lomoro went back to his motherland, Sudan, and can you hear? He applied and applied and applied and applied for jobs. No reply, a month for. You see? <laughs> but the TV say, how many applications should you or must you feel to even get an interview? Hmm? A hard for a country, someone for me. Where they tell you, and also, would they mind they try to portray or to you know present or to, you know to show the positive sides of Africa to the world, you know? And it's a good thing, you know. We go a long way to inspire people. I'm inspired by what's going on, what he's doing, while they watch, you know, people's stories, you know, especially this guy. So basically, this Joseph Lomoro applied for jobs so many times and found nothing. But he was able to change his story around, create, you know, a computer school with one laptop. A mouthful. That when he started this Cornerstone Computing Center. What a name for a computer school, Cornerstone. You know. He used his story, yeah, to, you know, even name that school. This is a, that school, you know, is connected to his story, a mouthful. He named a cornerstone. Yeah, the stone that the builders rejected, oh, cornerstone, a mouthful. <laughs> you know, all jokes aside, you know, we, we, are, we all have to look at this guy and learn. They won't learn from this guy because all the odds were against him. But he managed to turn things around. You know? From he left a one-torn country without a visa, without even a passport. Traveled around the world. Sorry, traveled in Africa. Yeah, because the country he mentioned was in Africa. He ended up in South Africa. You know? educated or trained himself, came back, still things were bad. He managed to set himself up, you know, build a computer school from the scratch, no computers, just one laptop. He used in, in, in bedroom, you know, like the top, he would wake up early and convert his room into a school. For how many people can do this? That's the thing that they talk every time a month for. If you are not prepared to do this, don't accept, don't expect to succeed. You know. It's that people where we start from the scratch. 
You are talking to them people who are born with golden spoon in their mouth. Fine, that's a different story. Even them then get their struggles in life. But people we we no get nothing, we must start from the scratch. A man for it's very hard. And if you haven't got that mindset that, you know, I will do it and succeed come what may, you give up along the road. A man for the man was facing obstacles, you know, barriers, but it did not deter him. He still kept on moving on, fighting, trying to make a change for himself, his country, the community that he lives and resides in. I'm for going look at the comments. People are giving comments saying, look, this man trained me in, you know, IT. It's a good story, people. I'm on for. Yeah, people, I'm on for. I they beg, listen, oh, listen, yeah. One laptop, it takes that in computer school, Cornerstone Computer Center, yeah. One student, his bedroom, yeah. Five students, he, he, he was able to register five students, yeah. Bought another laptop, starting renting laptops computers from people mm -hmm. now he has a whole computer uh, institute or center yeah 20 computers yeah they train 18 students 80 students a day a remarkable achievement you know somebody go talk to you Charlie hey, make you no sit down and talk nothing like that it not be easy, Charlie. Look, I listen to the story, Charlie. Ten African countries without visa and passport. Hmm? Yeah, and to the extent even the land where his computer school is on today, he owns it by a month for, you know, it was in a piece of cake. It took him seven years to pay for the land. To acquire the land way in computer school they talk today right now 2013 to 2020 it took him to pay for the land way the school they talk man for the man will sell you know most of his computers even in car where they drive to move about he had to sell that yeah to you know make that progress you know Black man, we they think of Gucci, Dolce and Gabbana, you know, big cars, big life. Actually, I'm on for. You know, fight harder. Actually, you will live in poverty for the rest of your life. So, people are I'm on for, you know, the long and the short of it is that, look, you cannot, you know, wait. For anything in life to come to you you have to go out there and fight look for it you know yeah and no matter where you come from hard work you know and staying humble you know will take you a long way yeah in this journey of life with hard work dedication humility you know Consistency, you, 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 you'll be celebrated one day a month for, even if not by, you know, the whole. You have, Charlie, a few or, you know, a community that at least celebrates you because of what you've done or what you've achieved a month for. Not everybody will come to your praise. Even the small number of people that knows what you've done and what you've achieved. It's enough. You know, and so people are man for you see. For me, you know, like I they watch YouTube channels, you know, people they talk about this thing called, you know, L O A, law of attraction. Yeah, and if that thing called law of, of attraction really works, yeah, this is an illustration of the law of attraction because look. 
The man didn't have money in his pocket, but he bought a piece of land to establish his school. A month ago, he used a law of attraction to attract, you know, wealth or success to himself. Look at the story, oh. Look at the story. A month ago. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I will talk say, look. I hope this story touches someone as well, the way I've been touched by this story, you know. This story is truly inspirational and, you know, I hope a lot of people learn lessons from this story. You know, I'm going to be a boy the righteous person that way I can pass through once again and, you know, I would like to thank you for watching this video and people, I beg, please leave comments, you know like as well and share the video yeah thanks for viewing this video once again peace bye see you in the next video lift in the up feel the motherland lift in the hands up and right just want the messenger and the rhythm right out of the camp contest otherwise we fly with the sky from an ass of sea that's all i'm not talking what what this oh baby yeah